Here I'm going to show you how to install add-ins to Excel 2007, uh, particularly the analysis tool pack. And that's going to give you things like solver and allow you to um, do a regression analysis within Excel. So let's go ahead and begin to do this. It's actually pretty easy, but in Excel 2007 it can be confusing if you don't know where it is. So what you want to do is go to the office button in the upper left hand corner of Excel, this guy right here then go down to Excel options and from here you're going to want to go to the add-ins tab on the left side menu so click that and then here you're going to see all of the add-ins that are available you can see all of the active add-ins right here the ones that you're using and then all of the inactive add-ins right here all of the ones that you can add but currently don't have and the type, you're going to see exactly what type they are, Excel add-in. Now, the reason you need to know that is because in order to add this add-in, uh, you do it by the type. So you go down here to Manage, and you see Excel add-ins, Com add-ins, Smart tags, XML expansion packs, and then off the screen it says Disabled items. So that's how you're going to actually add them. So we want to add the Analysis Tool Pack. That's in the Excel add-in. So what you do, manage Excel add-ins, click go, then you're going to see this window. These are all of the Excel add-in types. And we've got the analysis tool pack, analysis tool pack for VBA, conditional sum wizard, Euro currency tools, internet assistant VBA, lookup wizard, and the solver add-in. Now I'm going to put the solver add-in because I want that. Then I'm going to get the analysis tool pack and the analysis tool pack for VBA. And then when you've selected those, simply click OK. And it's going to add them into Excel. Now if you want to make sure that you've actually got them, what you can do is go to the Data tab. And then on the far right, you'll see a little box that says Analysis. And now you've got the a button for Solver right there. And a Data Analysis button that allows you to select things such as create a regression, sampling, or do some t-tests. So this is going to allow you to do a lot of things related to stats. So that's how you can put an add-in in Excel. Now they don't all come in the same place so if you're adding a different add-in than the analysis one or the data, uh, analysis tool pack it may be on a different tab. What you're going to want to do is just go through all the tabs and look to the far right hand corner to see if it changed and um, really that's what I would recommend. Now I'll go through it real quick one more time just to make sure you got the hang of it to install an add-in in Excel office button Excel options add-ins tab from here you're going to see all the active applications all the add-ins you currently have running in Excel I have the analysis tool pack because we just added that the one for VBA and then the solver these are the three we just added. These are the ones you can add. And this is their type, right? Excel add-in document inspector, smart tag. And you do that because if you want to add, say, the conditional sum wizard, you go down to the manage section, click the drop down arrow, select the correct type. Then hit go and you can add it from there. Now if I wanted to remove the add-ins that I just put in, all I have to do you see the active application go over to the type say I want to remove the analysis tool pack now well I see it's an Excel add-in so I go to manage my Excel add-ins click go and simply uncheck the boxes of the um, things you'd like to remove then click OK we go back to the data tab and the analysis box is not there anymore so that's how you can add and remove add-ins into Excel 2007.